Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge 3. Look at me keeping up with the weeklies. We got a tick, which means we can continue with our campaign. Now we're taking on the Arctic Tundra at the moment. We're onto this level, skipping traffic. So all we got to do here is get this truck across to there. However, then the car behind has to go on top somehow so i guess first things first let's just get this truck across so we use the line tool we say go from there to there and then boosh, fill in with road then i'll turn the grid on and i reckon we're probably just gonna do like a tension bridge so if we go over to like oops that point add a little bit of steel under there like that and then we should just be able to rope boosh 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 then hopefully that will be strong i may need to replace the rope with cable and then hopefully that will be strong enough to take that across yes it is now some of you may know it's my dog paddy's birthday today happy birthday paddy but also today's video sponsor star trek fleet command is celebrating its fifth anniversary as well explore the vast and diverse space landscape from alpha to omega quadrants immersing yourself in the rich lore of the star trek universe with stunning graphics and a free-to-play model the game is accessible to all creating a truly inclusive gaming community command iconic star trek ships stepping into the shoes of legends like Captain Kirk and Spock. Engage in epic battles with players worldwide, fostering a dynamic and competitive edge that keeps every encounter unique and exhilarating. Connect with a thriving community of real players, forming friendships and alliances as you traverse the Star Trek universe together. And don't miss out on the new Star Trek story set in the Kelvin timeline, offering a fresh narrative experience. Use the promo code WARSPEED to unlock new player content for free, featuring 10 epic shots of Kirk. Captain James T. Kirk brings incredible defensive stats and powerful buffs to any ships he commands. New players, here's your guide. Download Star Trek Fleet Command using the link in my description. Sign up for our Scopely account in-game, then head to StarTrekFleetCommand.com, log in and redeem your reward using the code WARSPEED. And don't miss out on the new monthly content, in-game contest experiences and giveaways. With the Star Trek Fleet Command 5th year anniversary, now's never been a better time to become a leader or member of a mighty alliance live long and prosper install star trek fleet command now thanks for sponsoring so we get over to here this is where it stops and then the rally oh my goodness the rally car creams it now what i'm thinking we do have space to build on top of the back of this so do i want to do something like that say and then perhaps add like some sort of ramp here or actually actually probably probably after the bridge so that the truck doesn't destroy it but if i if we do like that sort of thing we basically made like a massive speed hump but i'm hoping it will be strong enough oh dear <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna say strong enough for the truck to get over which after a bit of tweaking oh no it isn't it really isn't <laughs> oh i still read it oh fair play rally car <laughs> but after a bit of tweaking we've got that and then can you see i've got this ramp on the back so the idea is yes yes we did it just ignore the sploosh at the end oh i'm in the top 12 percent decent <laughs> How did I manage that? Tyler did this for two grand cheaper. So I guess we could try and beat him at least. But yeah, essentially, that is the, the design. I'm surprised I did that so quickly. It's meant to be four sheep difficulty. Right, so with tension bridges, I like to keep them to grid just because it keeps everything sort of symmetrical. But uh, that is under 36 grand. We'll see. Oh, it's not quite strong enough. Wait, why are you breaking? Is it because they weren't flat? Okay, but yeah, that's, that's now good. You can see I've put road in in the bridge underneath. Okay, that's pretty good. 36 grand. Oh, look how close. We beat Tyler by two quid. <laughs> the top score is just 18 grand. I'm intrigued to see how someone did this for half the budget that I did. And the answer is, oh, it's cheese. I never would have expected that. Yeah, so just a bit of a, a bit of a banana bridge. And it seems like everyone did the same solution that... <laughs> Look at that. Okay, fair play. Although this person did cheese it, they did try to use engineering at the start. Um, all right, here's the first non cheese Oh, look how small their ramp was. And like this bit, you only needed a tiny bit of road there. Oh, why didn't I see that? Anyway, at the highest end of the budget, we <laughs> we've got RCE. There's like a fly. He's, he's lost his wings and legs. He's stuck in like, I guess that's like a spider web underneath. Horrible way to go, if I'm honest. 
This one, this one, Alan, doing a military parade. Got rockets on the back of their truck there. I mean, there's rockets everywhere on this level. I'm secretly really impressed with the wiggle, but let's not mention the wiggle. Oh, look at the... Look at that. So not only do we have an incredible trust build, but did you see the, the flap down at the start for the ramp? So just watch the start. This, it goes like... Badoosh falls down. Oh, that's decent. Uh, this one by Art C E, very arty. Oh, is it going to drop down? Ah, interesting. So the jump is like part of the bridge. It's a straight grade. This one build zones stifle creativity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just the Nifty sponsored solution. Nifty, because Nifty never disappears when you need it most. Nifty always returns to you. Warning, Nifty may not actually return to you and may disappear when you need it most. All right, this level is aubergine. That is eggplant if you're American. Uh, interestingly, not one in the solution at all. But, oh, look at that finish. That was tight. All right, so this one. Oh, just a little speed hump. What's that chain doing? Oh, oh it's an anchor. It's an anchor. It pulled the ramp off. That's so cool. <laughs> They used an anchor for a, for a bridge. It's, oh, look. Is that a little man holding the, <laughs> holding the ramp up? I mean, it's a bit architectural. I'm not going to lie. But I do actually like that. Fair play. So, look. The, the car drives up the smooth ramp to the finish. Doesn't actually make it. Falls back down. But who cares? Right, oh, my goodness. The billfidge of this one. Look at that. If that doesn't make you you know what, then... There's something wrong with you. You need to go to a doctor or something. Wow, that is a cool bridge. Fair play, dude. All right, this one. Oh, it had a flap on the back. What's going on with the front of that ramp? It gets... I guess rammed into... To <laughs> No jumping on this one, just bridges. Anyway, last time I stupidly decided after doing one of these ones, because they're a little bit easy for me, we should then do the, the hydraulic campaign. So we're on level two of the hydraulic campaign now. It's called Just a Phase. That's what they said when I started making knob jokes. Now look at me. Now look at me. Anyway, all we got to do here. Oh, this is actually quite a simple one, I think, because... Basically, the boat goes, then hydraulics go, and then the truck goes. So I've just got to do a bridge, which is probably going to be like something like that. But then I just need to move this bit out of the way to start. So for example, if that were to start up there, I've just got to get it down to this point. So joint there, joint there, make this side cantilevered, which hang on, what vehicle is this? Oh, it's Quite a beefy vehicle. I may want to... Oh, I was going to say you steal to get over to it. I can't actually... I can't get over to it. It's too far. But yeah, I may want to do something like that. If I just hold... Oh, man, this is expensive. 17 grand? I haven't even done this side yet. Or the hydraulic bit. Oh, this is going to be really expensive. Anyway, let's do the truss up here. And then we just need to, like... We need to find the best way to hydraulic this down. So perhaps something like this. The right side seems to be holding, okay? So that's a good sign. Then where will this stop is the question. Oh, too high. Too high. <laughs> oh, no. Oh! Okay, so I need it to expand further. So something like that. No, not far enough. But after a little bit of hardcore trigonometry and other sort of equations, definitely didn't trial and error. We got to a point where the bridge locks in perfectly and then the monster truck drives across and... Oh, no, then it collapses. Yeah, so, yeah, this right side ain't great, basically. And honestly, it's th this layout's horrible. I don't know why I'm, like, persisting with it. Like, what's the stress looking like? Okay, that broke. Is the next one gonna... Yeah, the next one's gonna... These are just all gonna have to be cable, I think. The cable is very expensive. Okay, we did... We did pass just under 30 grand. Not my finest moment. Yeah, top 30%. People did this for seven and a half grand. What did Tyler... He did it for 18 grand? What? All right, so for reference, my left side costs 11 grand, which is more than the the cheapest solutions. My right side costs 18 and a half grand. So Tyler did this for just that. Uh, that is that is not ideal. How did he do that? All right, well, one thing I am... I was thinking, I was thinking of like starting this again anyway. I mean, I don't need to go to the end. So if I did just go there with my pieces, then I can get away with just two ropes. I feel like that's probably sensible and then maybe just like truss on top because trusses are pretty strong so that i've saved a couple of grand is it strong enough yes okay so that's good we're moving in the right direction how you save 10 grand from this design though not entirely sure i mean maybe we make all of this side wood and we try that no that just got annihilated okay like that though that works 
I don't think this bottom support will have the strength to lower this down, though. I am wondering, though, how to do this without hydraulics. Oh, it did have the strength. Do we have the strength? All the oh, okay. We've saved like four grand. Better than a kick in the nuts, as they say. We've still oh, man, I've got eight grand to save. People did this for seven and a half. All right, there must be like, there must be a real cheap way of doing this. What does that hydraulic cost? That's two grand to be fair. I mean, each of these is two grand as well. Everything I've got there is still more expensive than Tyler's. What? How is that possible? What if I got rid of the ropes? 16 grand. Man. Okay, I'm wondering, is there like a way you can build over the top? Like, would something like that work? I mean, I can't. I can't see it if I'm honest. But we'll give it a try. Because, well, because this can't have been done legit. That's all I'm saying. Like, that cost 20 grand. Is it even going to be strong enough? Looking at the stress of those, no, it isn't. But let's just see. Do we have the power to actually drive up here? Okay, we do. That's probably how you do it then. We just got to make it strong, which probably means wall brace. But, like, we're still looking at, like, 20 grand. That's pricey. Like, look how many people have actually done it as like the cheapest price because the cheese they've really moved that like top one percent mark and yeah although i'm 180th i don't know if i can get that much higher i would be intrigued to see how tyler did this i think i'm gonna have a, i'm gonna have a little look in the gallery let's have a look lowest budget seven and a half grand oh <laughs> what a shock it's the dangly bridge and because one person did a dangly bridge i mean everyone did it it's got hydraulics on the right just to raise it up but like every single solution everyone's done that now aside from that though the actual cheapest way of doing this i'm guessing this is what tyler did he well did the same solution as me but super super cheap this person did it for nearly two grand cheaper than me. So yeah, I could have just tweaked. It's worth noting at the end. Can you see there's like a big jump? I'm pretty sure though that one's more expensive than Tyler's, right? So yeah, honestly, glad I didn't spend too much time trying to tweak. Oh, I actually did like better than some of these people that were doing it. Oh, decent. Fair play, Matt. Oh, look at this one though. Legit solution. Pretty much same price as mine, but uses hydraulics and steel and all sorts. Fair play. Right, wh what is that solution? Like this person's cheesed it, but like... It's more expensive than... Just build a normal bridge. Anyway, need to cheer myself up. Highest end of the budget. It's the hydraulic level, so we should have some good solutions here. So first one, Paddy... Wait. Oh, a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Oh, but I am an architect. Fair enough. <laughs> As long as you're not slandering Paddy, that is not the type of propaganda we want in these parts. There's only one type. Oh, look at the little bridge extension there. That's nice. All right, what is this? What's it? Architect. Why is... What? Architect bridge. Oh, architect bridge. I thought you were calling me an architect for some reason. So everyone's very offensive today. Uh, this is this is an architect bridge, is it? I mean, it looks reasonably well engineered. You got like some cable stage. You got hydraulic just on one side. I think you're doing yourself in there. I think you've you've done all right, Bruno Later. You're not an architect. Don't worry. What is that? What is... Oh. It's moving. It's like a caterpillar track. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> All right. So this one, some RC propaganda. I have a feeling I, I can tell what this one's going to do. Yep. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you didn't, you could have made that look a lot worse. So fair play. This one, RCE. Thank you very much. What have we got over this side? Oh, is that just, it's a legendary hydraulic muscle, but is that just going to flip that down? Oh, no, no. We have a jump. We have a jump. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Look at this. We got some suspension on the right. Sort of cable stayed, but then fanned out. Lovely little, some steel muscles on the left. Good work, Payden. A uh, gun woo with a, with a bridge that lifts up like that. Oh, that's cool. No need to draw, Bridget. Just, just raise the entire thing. This one, similar method that I did. But look, they got so close that they had to put gaps in their bridge. Or like the, the mast, the boat and stuff. Anyway, what? <laughs> Pudding, what? Your bridge is underwater, mate. What's going on it? The oh, man. With the RC propaganda as well. How does that work? I need to remember that layout. That could be useful for me in a future a future level. All right, what is this? What? Oh, it's an unrolling bridge. Nice. What, this one? We got like tension under there. And this half of the bridge is resting on those two cables. Fair play. That's actually quite clever. Although not sure why you've got a kink in your road. 
<laughs> this one, your name might check out, but you can't just cheese it and then just put like a hard hat on top and expect me to call it engineering. No chance. Anyway, back to the Arctic Tundra. We're on dropped camo. So we got, oh no, we got hydraulics. We got hydraulics. We got two hydraulic phases and then both of these go. Oh, so do I need to like get the Jeep on the back? Where does the Jeep end up? Or up there? Yeah, so I think then I got to build a bridge here to get the truck up, but I've also got to try and use hydraulics to lift the Jeep onto the back. Okay, and I've, I've got an idea for this one. So I feel like whilst I build it for you guys, it's going to be engineering time. <laughs> Do you believe that my bridge is last? I can engineer them to cross the span I calculate loads and I make plans all Do you believe that my bridge is last? I can engineer them to cross the span I calculate loads and I make plans all Do you believe that my bridge is last? Okay, right, well this was <laughs> This uh, this worked out really, really well. Basically, I just built like a claw. I'll just move that out of the way. You can see, yeah, we got two road like pincers. I got a hydraulic in the middle just to clamp them together. So basically, it squeezes those together. The hydraulic above pulls it up. And then down here, I just put a little joint in just to drop it really quickly and easily. Then the truck carries the Jeep upside down. We never said we had to flip it around. Penguin in the background looks on, slightly confused as to why it's still upside down. We complete the level, 60 grand. We're in the top. We're still in the top half. <laughs> How are we still in the top half? What did Tyler do this? Oh, 36 grand. That would be quite hard to beat, I think. Someone did it for under 20 grand as well. So let's just try again. How much does my bridge cost? 28 grand. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I probably could get rid of most of this structure above. So with my clamp in place, I mean, I don't really need the clamp, do I? Like, all I've got to do is sort of push that and maybe rope it that way. Or oh, better yet, get rid of like, get rid of all of this. So long hydraulic there. Can I put another hydraulic in? Yeah, that's still, that's still cheaper than Tyler's. I'll tell you what, if I can get a rope with a tiny bit of road under that point and another one under there, then that should lift us to the right place yeah so if i put a joint up there then it should just drop it like now yes oh we've even got it the right way up no way oh please say it can beat tyler at a hydraulic level come on that's under 36 grand stress should be the same doesn't matter that's upside down or not oh my goodness he's only gone and done it he's only gone and done it look at that <laughs> oh nice top eight percent right let's have a look in the gallery so oh very clever little arm there. And then, oh, why'd you have to ruin it? Why did you have to ruin it? But yeah, then up a banana inspired bridge. Uh, lots of people with the very small arms. Uh, I'm not talking like T-Rexes. I'm not being Amish. But that's that's another thing. I'm not being Amish. I, ignore me. <laughs> right, we've got a mere engineer. They did the tension underneath. Nice. Looks like it was all about trying to get that arm as cheap as possible. All the bridges seem pretty similar to one another. Um, oh, look, Razdazd, RCE propaganda. But yeah, similar solution. And you'll never guess who is one step ahead of them in terms of price anyway. It's Alan with a sensible solution. Alan, what's happened to you? Still, I'm sure if we go to highest budget, that, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What am I looking at? Someone's made an airship. Why would you do that? I guess it makes the bridge lighter, technically. I guess, yeah, that's actually clever engineering. Good work. No, we then got this one. Oh, RCE propaganda on the back of the truck. And it's the Nifty sponsored solution. Oh, it's nothing that warms me up inside like a cup of Nifty and the Nifty sponsored solution. I'm so glad that Nifty's back. Um, right, here he is. What's Alan been up to then? He's got, oh, a weird chain to pull it up. Then, and he's got like a drawing of like a spaceship, like a like a rocket, like launching off. It's got like the flames down here and stuff. It's even got like the red tip, like Thunderbird one. Interesting there. Oh my, whoa, that's really cool. So it's like a, it is like a cable stayed bridge, but the the foundations of these 
like curve underneath. I've never seen anything like that before in this. That's really cool. Fair play. I think that might have to get my bridge of the week. Good job, Zakur. All right, this one. Yes, RCE and Nifty sitting in a tree. K-I-S. Wait, don't finish that. Don't finish that. All right, again, Aliens Rock wants to be RC. I don't know why you're using that symbol saying that he wants to be me. We don't want to be you here. We all just want to get along. Yes, I'm a lot better than Aliens Rock at this game, but you don't need to do the arrow. It's just offensive towards him. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely what you're trying to portray, right? Anyway, what we got here? Yonru. Oh, similar to mine. Like my first solution, at least. With the arm lifting up. We've then got RC propaganda. Maybe I should add RC propaganda to my own bridges. Would make sense. All right, this one. Oh, look at the arm. Look at the... Is that like a claw? Like my first... Yeah, it is. Oh, that's really cool. Fair play. Ooh. What's down there? All right, there's an arrow up there and it's saying not a muscle. That's not a muscle. I mean, not going to lie. It does sort of look like a muscle. Oh, and over this way, that's a muscle. Oh my goodness, that is a muscle. <laughs> the legendary quadruple muscle. I never thought we'd see the day. Oh, look. What's that? Hi, RC. I oh, moved the E to the end. <laughs> what a cool little bridge that was. Cheers that, man. I feel bad I just gave my, my, my bridge of the week away now. But unfortunately, oh, no, we got to go to this. It takes all sorts. Look how many hydraulic phases there are. This is going to break me. This is actually going to break me. Oh, at least there isn't a road limit. That's one good thing about this. So, oh, what have we got to do then? Ugh. So A's got to go first. So A, you're a police car. You just go over to there. So we can just put road in like that. Build a bridge. That goes to this point. It's a turny round one. So it heads back. Okay, so that's sorted. Then there's a hydraulic phase. So I can do some shifty wifty. You gotta get swifty. Then the buggy C goes. Okay, so I probably want to grab like that and perhaps move that down like that sort of thing. And then I'll probably have to move it up to like the top or something. Is that what the intended solution is? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm scared of this level. But yeah, basically the vehicles go and then they go again in the reverse order from like where they where their checkpoint was. Oh, I'm not feeling this. I am not feeling this at all. Right, okay, okay. Is it worth instead? Dead. Rather than moving the entire bridge. Man, it's like I'm speedrunning again. <laughs> Rather than moving half the bridge, because if I do that, I'm then going to have to like make that node stay in place and it's going to be really difficult and stuff. I feel like it might be simpler just to like, I don't know, if I do like a rope down to like there, say, I can then just hydraulic this. So that's probably, oh, yeah, probably not going to be strong enough. So let's put a few bits of steel in. I mean, it's probably not going to be strong enough now. What broke? You broke. I mean, what I what I could do, actually, what I did, my last solution. So I do that, I do that, and then I just put a hydraulic in like that sort of thing. Because that's going to be way stronger, right? So, oh, it still broke. All right, steel there. Okay, yes. Okay, went a little bit too high, but we can use some hardcore maths here just to work this out. I'm definitely not just trial and erroring. But, oh, I've just realized as well. <laughs> I've gone to the wrong bridge. When I press play, it's the I'm meant to be going to the bottom one. Oh no. Oh, actually though, can I just Oh, is that how I do this? I make that one a hydraulic. So in the hydraulic controller, first phase, you don't go, but you do go. Because I know from the middle, this will go up to the top now. So for that first phase, this now goes down slightly too far. But after a bit of hardcore maths, that's almost in the right place. I just do it slightly higher. We may need to put in just something to like fill the gap. Just because like that gap is, yeah, it's not, it's not great. If I were to like get one bit of road in, let's just turn the grid off. Make that a joint and then just put like the world's smallest wall brace underneath. I could potentially get this to lock in. Oh, doesn't need to lock in. Doesn't need to lock in. Okay, we've got, we've got you over. So now they both go and it ends up up the top. Oh boy. So again, up here may need the world's smallest. Oh no, it can't be too small because I got to I gotta support it somehow. But yeah, ideally I want these to lock in. It just looks like they're a bit too close. Let's see how close that one is to locking in. Yeah, I can't actually move it any closer annoyingly. That is really annoying. How do I get around that? I mean, actually, if I just make this top one go a bit higher, maybe I can... Because that's like the shortest length I can do, but I can make it go a bit taller, can't I? Right, okay, ready. Ready. It locks. Oh, but then it's still trying to go higher. So I need to shorten that 
by a pixel. And remember, when I'm sourcing these hydraulics, I'm not just trial and erroring. I am actually using like really complex equations. If you've got an engineering degree, you probably will recognize the techniques I'm using. But yes, that is now locked in. I was going to say, so that bridge is way stronger. The rope goes. I was not expecting that. Okay, we'll make that cable. Then that's better. Nice. So then it's just a case of getting all of these to go to like the right place. So all that... That actually went to the right place. That was a fluke. Is the bridge strong enough in that direction? Yes. So then back to the top. Is it strong enough for this guy? Yes, it is. So I've just got a hydraulic control. I just got to turn one of the, I think the bottom one off. If I go to J, turn the bottom one off. Then this should sort the bridges completely. And not only that, it looks like the strongest shape. So bonus points. I did a level. I did a hydraulic level. 24 grand, top 15%. We, oh, he would have done it cheaper, wouldn't he? Of course he did. I've already beaten him today. I'm not, I'm not fast. I'm not fast on this one. But what is the cheapest way? 12 grand, half the budget that I had. How did people do that oh it wasn't the power of cheat oh it was using that at the end oh why didn't you listen to your instincts matt it's your engineering instincts you just completely ignored it i'm annoyed i could have done that i could have done it for that price definitely <laughs> definitely anyway yeah looks like all the cheap ways were doing that anyway highest budget <laughs> there's alan again why the top one's getting longer and longer <laughs> and longer his actual solution though looks pretty much identical to mine he's just added rce propaganda right oh look high rce way up in the air so, oh, the h is falling off a little bit your signs no your signs we're losing the propaganda all right this oh payden that is beautiful look at this like curved arch with the rope holding it in place oh man it's making me all tingly look how boxy this why is it so boxy <laughs> i don't understand oh oh there's all sorts going on in this i wasn't expecting that all right this one whoa whoa okay okay so it goes down to there i assume the muscle brings this up to the middle or to the top yeah no this one that one there takes to the middle cool cool right this this is an example of why i think i am actually getting slightly better at hydraulics i feel like this would have been how i would have solved it previously just dangle because dangling hydraulics is a lot less to think about although this is yes a cool solution it's very very pricey this one has like a road weight on the left what that's like perfectly weight that's cool fair play oh my god look at the carnage so this one has like a, a hydraulic cable that just sort of hangs down from that end that's quite cool look at the mess in there though <laughs> so much truss work now anyway we've now done the first three levels on these two worlds and to be fair i feel like i'm handing myself okay i feel like these hydraulic levels they could get bad pretty fast but we'll just have to deal with that when we get to it for now i'm gonna say peace love and bridges bye guys